If you know me, you know that I love testing cameras. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys this baby. I did not have video footage of my childhood. Obviously these days, everyone has iPhones, everyone is taking videos all the time, but back then it was expensive to keep up getting tapes, getting films. My dad decided to take more pictures on actual photo cameras instead of video cameras, which is totally fine. That being said, I have always wanted to test out video cameras from the late 90s, early 2000s. I think they're so fascinating and they bring such a sense of nostalgia um, and <laughs> I just always wanted to test one. So my beautiful friend gave me a video camera of hers that she had just lying around. It's from about 2006. I actually introduced it in a previous video already. So if you haven't watched that, I talk about all my different cameras that I've had for a long time and the ones that I got recently. So that's also something that you can watch and you can click up here. It has already got some footage on it. I took some videos around about the last two months. So especially when I was in England last time, it was my birthday. And then we also celebrated here. So I have lots of footage from my birthday and some other things. There's something about this that is so nostalgic and so different to the 4K high quality video that we have today, whether it's on our phones or on our cameras. And this video on here just evokes emotions in such a new way. And I don't know how to put my finger on it, but when I was watching this, I'm getting emotional right now thinking about it anyway, because I'm also tired. <laughs> um, but I, I was watching this footage and emotions were evoked and I was just like astonished. I was stunned because it's just videos of my birthday, but I feel like I'm watching something incredibly special, incredibly personal. And I feel like it's got something to do with the fact that you can zoom in and out of this. You end up zooming across the room to someone. They don't know that you're filming them. And there's just such a, there's such an openness and a calmness around this camera. When you put up your big camera or you put up your phone in front of people, they'll often be like, no, don't take a picture of me. Oh my God, no. Even, I mean, literally, if you grew up in like the time that I did in 2014 with iPhones, like all we ever did was like this, like hiding ourselves, <laughs> hiding ourselves like behind our hands and our selfies. And there's something about this where everyone wants to be in the video. And I love that. And so there's such a difference between using this and using an iPhone with a filter. Um, and I can't put my finger on it, but it evoked so many wonderful, nostalgic, happy emotions in me when I watched back this footage from literally two weeks ago. Without further ado, we're gonna test this thing. We're gonna see if we can get the footage onto my laptop and then hopefully you guys can also see it.